Again, let's, this, this is a big angle, and this could trip us up a lot. So let's try to make this simple. So we made this one a little bit easier by going, by going 4 pi over 4. Here, we know it's 6 pi over 6, right? Well, a full revolution is 12 pi over 6. So if I do a full revolution, I am still short of my angle, right? How short am I of my angle? 5 pi over 6. So basically what I could do is I could rewrite this as 12 pi over 6 plus 5 pi over 6. Does that kind of make some sense? Right? So I have a revolution, 12 pi, and now I need to go 5 pi over 6. So I need to break this up into six parts. And then I need to go five of them. Well. One, two, three, four, five. So that's what my angle look like. Or if we just want to write this standard form without the circle. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and find our coterminal angles. 17 pi over 6. Now here's where you want to be careful. You don't want to just memorize plus or minus. Because guys, if you add. 12 pi over 6 to that, you're going to get 29 pi over 6. I need to, like, that's not going to help me get to a negative number. If you subtract 12 pi, what are you left over with? 5 pi over 6, right? Because I broke it up. So is that a positive, is that a positive coterminal angle? Yes, it is. But if I asked you to find a positive and a coterminal angle, then guess what? What would you have to do again? Subtract again. So it's not always, oh, just add and subtract 2 pi. Sometimes you have to add 2 pi twice. Sometimes you have to subtract 2 pi twice to get to a positive and a negative. So that's exactly what I would do. Um, I would take 5 pi over 6 and subtract. No, I'm sorry, that's positive 5 pi over 6. And subtract 12 pi over 6 to give me a negative 7 pi over 6. And then let's look at it. Let's see if that makes sense. From here to here would be 6 pi over 6. And then if I would just went a little bit extra, that would be 7 pi over 6 in the negative direction. So we're good. Anybody have any questions on coterminal angles? Hence the word co.